Tonight we're hearing from two dog owners after this pit bull mix was shot and killed in Fernandina Beach. Now it happened outside the Fernandina Beach Animal Clinic this morning. Police say a 70-year-old Army veteran was there with his service dog when a pit bull mix got away from its owner and attacked his Weimaraner. Joy is here now with what both owners are saying. Joy? Mary Tark, the man whose dog was being attacked, says using his gun was his only option. The other dog's owner says his dog was playful, not vicious, and that this didn't have to happen. And I will not let this go just like it was a little pet or whatever that was part of my family. Mustafa Ba says this was his dog, Dozer, a pit bull bulldog mix that was at this animal clinic being checked for worms this morning when he got off his leash on the way out. People have perceptions that pit bulls or bulldogs are bad, but it's not. Dozer was a kind dog loved by the whole family and also the neighbors. But James Strickland says his service dog was pinned down on her back when he screamed for help. He says he and two others tried to get Dozer to stop attacking, but couldn't. That's when he fired two shots, the second one hitting and killing the pit bull mix. Did you think your dog was going to survive? I didn't know if my dog was injured or not. I got my dog inside, in the control of my wife, asked for the police to be called, secured my weapon in my vehicle, and I stood out in the parking lot with my hands up until the police got there. Strickland, a concealed weapon license holder, says that was his only option. I don't believe all the stories I hear about pit bulls, but this was a large, vicious animal. And I did what I had to do. I feel very sorry for the dog that I had to do what I did. Now, the Fernandina Beach police questioned and released Strickland today. Police say state law allows for killing a dog if it's believed that dog is intent on killing another domestic animal, which Strickland says he felt.